Welcome, and thank you for taking time to learn how Commissioner Tools works with the Unit Service Plan to better support units. In this module, we will look at why Commissioners work with unit leaders to build a Unit Service Plan. The topics we will discuss include key performance metrics for unit service, the four areas of focus for unit commissioners, how the unit service plan supports a unit's journey to excellence, and the key benefits of the unit service plan. We perform best when we measure what matters. Unit retention is the best measure of impact of unit service. Unit commissioners help unit leaders deliver a quality program. A quality program attracts youth and adults to scouting. It's also the primary reason they stay. Units that deliver a quality program grow and prosper. A unit service plan provides a roadmap for unit leaders to develop and deliver a quality program. Working together with unit leaders, unit commissioners will de use detailed assessments to develop a plan that responds to the unit's unique strengths and needs. Through regular contacts, they help ensure the progress is made toward established goals. Journey to Excellence is Scouting's continuous improvement tool. Detailed assessments and unit service plans address all elements of a unit's journey to excellence. A unit service plan helps ensure a unit is continually improving. Remember that unit commissioners must achieve just four objectives to have an impact on the units they serve. The unit service plan and commissioner tools support the first three. The actionable information available in commissioner tools and the relationships unit commissioners develop through significant contacts help ensure the unit renews its charter on time. Some will ask why a unit service plan is needed when we already have a continuous improvement tool, JTE. Perhaps it will help to think about the rear view mirror in your car. Like the mirror, JTE provides great information about what has been accomplished. JTE measures leading indicators that can also provide a warning. They can help identify where a change in course or corrective action is needed. The unit service plan is our GPS based on a collaborative assessment developed with the unit's leaders. It identifies and prioritizes key tasks that will lead to our destination, a unit that serves more youth through scouting with a quality program. Why build a unit service plan? There's a simple answer to that question. A unit service plan enables commissioners to fulfill their mission to help units better serve more youth through scouting. But, as with most things, it probably isn't quite that simple. The unit service plan offers four key benefits to a unit's leaders and its unit commissioner. Focus, actionable information, linkage, and efficiency. A unit service plan provides focus. The most effective unit service plans start with a collaborative assessment of a unit's strengths and needs. That helps unit leaders and their unit commissioner identify and prioritize tasks that will strengthen the unit. Unit service plans should be updated at least twice each year. Tasks should be limited in scope so that they can be accomplished within six months. The best plans enable continuous progress. Relationships are key to creating and executing a good plan. A unit commissioner must work with unit leaders to build mutual respect and an understanding of one another's goals. Knowing what motivates leaders to serve and seeing their vision for the unit is essential. Collaborative assessments and unit service plans are new concepts. Not all leaders will immediately accept them. Unit commissioners should do their best to gain acceptance, but sometimes the only Alternative will be to build a plan based only on their own assessment of the unit's strengths and needs. Collaborative planning is best, but if that isn't possible, a unit commissioner's customized plan to support the unit is better than a cookie cutter approach or no plan at all. Unit service plans based on a collaborative assessment will have the greatest impact 
as they provide the greatest focus. A unit service plan is action oriented. It provides actionable information. It includes a limited number, typically not more than three to five, SMART goals. Remember, one of the benefits of a unit service plan is the focus it provides to unit leaders and their commissioner. Limiting the scope of the plan, the number of goals it includes, and the time in which they will be completed helps ensure focus. SMART goals are specific, measurable, attainable, relevant and resource oriented, and time based. They identify specifically what is going to be done, who is accountable for the task, and when it is to be completed. One example of a SMART goal might be all registered leaders will be current on youth protection training by March 1st of this year. The UNIS committee chair or a designated member of the committee might be the individual responsible for that task being completed by the target date. A unit service plan enables linkage to other resources needed to ensure success. Neither unit leaders nor unit commissioners are experts on every element of scouting, but unit commissioners can provide access to subject matter experts that serve on our district operating committees. If a collaborative assessment identifies, for instance, specific needs for training, a member of the district training committee would be able to assist. District membership committee members would be a resource in developing new approaches to growing the unit. District camping committee members could also provide help for a unit interested in developing a high adventure program for its older youth and so on. Once the need is identified, the unit commissioner can facilitate linkage. Individual districts will have different approaches to getting operating committee support commitments. Once established, the unit commissioner can coordinate and monitor the efforts of everyone responsible for completion of the tasks. Integrating the unit service plan process and commissioner tools technology provides efficiency. The collaborative assessment and the resulting plan can both be captured in commissioner tools using the detailed assessment function. Once completed, the information is easily accessible by the unit commissioner all members of the district service team, and also district professionals. In addition, members of the council's unit service team and field service professionals can also review the plan if their support is needed. Finally, the simple assessment function in Commissioner Tools provides a quick and easy way to document plan progress. Simple assessments document regular monthly contacts by a unit commissioner. Remember, significant contacts document progress towards achievement of a unit service plan goal or resolution of an important issue. Why build a unit service plan? The simple answer to the question remains. A unit service plan enables commissioners to fulfill their mission to help units better serve more youth through scouting. It also enables improved retention of units and improves the performance rating of units measuring journey to excellence metrics. We measure what matters. A unit service plan in Commissioner Tools touches every metric we use to improve unit service. It also touches every metric we use to help our units improve. It truly is a better way to provide unit service.